All right, watch out for gators on the walk. You too, Tobe. Welcome back, everyone. Brett got a gimbal for the camera and he's very excited. Yeah, so no more crazy shaky Taylor footage. Hopefully, hopefully. Her muscles are just so big that when she's holding the camera, it's all over the place. Oh my gosh, look at those, look at those. And we can chase Toby smoothly because he's running around. So we'll see how it works. Let's see if we can focus on you. I can't see the camera, but you're climbing. Oh shoot, I'm hitting buttons. I'm hitting buttons. Brett doesn't know what he's doing to the camera. I don't gimbal. know what I'm doing. I am chance. not. I am not a techie person. I am not a techie person. So stand, stay with us for operator errors. Is that good, Topes? So bad. It's all over his face. Look at his face, Toby. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, smoothie boy. Toby, ready to go bike ride around and look for stuff today? I'm too close to focus on you, but look out the window while we're eating. Oops. Hey. Be nice to him. There you go. Iguana. Oh, uh, on cold days like today, the exotic lizards, they're just all out in the sun. They will catch uh, tegus. Oh, there it goes. So look, Rakagama. Uh, Peter's Rakagama, also known as Red-Headed Agama. These guys were introduced uh, quite a while ago, close to 15 years ago, is when I first heard of them. But they've become really, really prolific, and they seem to be almost out competing the common brown and all. But that's a female. We'll see if we get a close up of a male. Right, Tope? All right, we're going to roll up on this male Rakagama. We also call them Superman lizards. So these red headed agamas are originally from semi arid regions of Africa. They're primarily insect eaters. Here in Florida, they only really exist in urbanized areas. They don't really make it out into the natural ecosystem like some of our other invasive species. The only known potential problem is they often feed on migratory butterflies that travel through these urban areas. So there's the male. He has a blue body and a red head. And then the females kind of has that white brown look. Want to know why? Because the males have to impress the females to get a mate. Females have to do no work in the animal kingdom. But females in real life have to get fake eyelashes, do their hair nicely, and put their makeup on, and wear cute clothes. But in the animal world, it's the guys that have to do all that work. She's head bobbing me. Oh! Hey. You can see he has some shed coming off his back. See that little crustiness, little crusty skin. And see how like, I know it sounds terrible, but like, uglier the females are. She got some cool specks on her head, but otherwise they're kind of just drap looking. And the males also get bigger. He has a very blue body. Like it looks like a, like he looks like a Spider-Man suit. Mmm. I love when lizards head bob me and makes me feel so pretty. Like she, I, I think they're both flicking at me, not each other. Okay, love you too, boo boo. There's another one right there. Pita's Rockagama. And then look, if you go right over from the Rockagama, Another, another iguana. It's crawling with exotic lizards out here. And look, right below the iguana, ready for this? See him scratch himself? Rakagama, right there. Rolling forward to an, another Rakagama. No, there's like six right here. This one's got eggs in it already. And then ready, we'll roll it over. Ironically, they're all on rocks. Oh, there's one on the pole next to you. Look at her eating ants. Yum yum. It can be hard to see, look, right? In the center, while looking at agamas, there's another invasive lizard, a brown basilisk. This is a Central and South American lizard, also known as the Jesus Christ lizard. All right, guys, remember, clean up your fishing line. There's just so much fishing line uh, out here. And this stuff like tangles up and kills birds. We have removed so much fishing line today. And I don't know why people just can't clean up after themselves. Quit being lazy. All right guys, look at this. This is one of my favorite animals to see here. Down the canal I had to zoom way in. An American crocodile. 
Florida is the only place on earth you can see American crocodiles and American alligators. So stinking cool. All right, guys, look. Huge water snake doing its best to look like a cotton mouth. Look at that big triangle shaped head. And this is a harmless water snake. Even from the side, this one did a very good job of looking like a cotton mouth. Side pattern, the dark bars going down the side. I actually thought we had a cotton mouth crossing the trail. People often get these confused with cotton mouths because if you look, he's actually flattening out his head just like a cotton mouth. We'll put a cotton mouth next to this for comparison. But look how similar they look. One of the ways to tell them apart, look at the lips. There's black stripes across the lips. That is one of the best ways to tell these from a cotton mouth. I'm gonna get you to go out of the, off the side of the trail. Look at this, that is a huge, huge water snake. Look at that, if you saw that in the grass, you would think that was a cotton mouth. That's actually super impressive. How much of an awesome threat display she's doing in mimicking the cotton mouth. There she goes. Can I tell them why we're not biking right now? We had to ditch the bike because it was really hot and sunny and I get worried about Toby overheating and then the ground was so wet and slick that I fell with Toby on the back and I was, I was just mad, I was just grumpy. I didn't want to do it anymore. You're done. No, I was done after that. I got wet and muddy. So now we're hiking. Oh my gosh, mouse prints, how cute. Let's see if I get in the... All right, camera, down. Mouse prints. We're hiking some beautiful sawgrass marshes, looking for uh, whatever else, whatever could be out. You and Toby risking it for the biscuit. Oh, there you go, you were asking for boots earlier. And you got one. Gotta be careful that an alligator's not gonna run out of the bushes and eat you. Water's beautiful. Can't help but feel a little filthy off here. Oh, stinging nettles, be careful. So the water we're walking through has a nasty dead bird. Yuck. All right guys, look, while we're hiking along this grass edge, we knew it was good for pythons, but we haven't seen any, but look what we just found. Big python shed. Look at this. You can actually see the pattern of the Burmese python. So this is, uh, we haven't seen one today, but this was a shed skin of a Burmese python. You can see it loops up through my shadow along this trail we're walking. So we know they're in the area. Look at that. That would be a good sized python. I bet this would probably be an eight or nine foot python. Crazy. Uh, so the snake is here somewhere. Maybe we'll find it. It's cold. So, all right, here we go. Guys, fantastic. Um, we have been hiking this area and crawling down the side of the trail. Wow. Gorgeous, gorgeous Brooks King. It's worth the mosquitoes, Rhett. Not for you, it's not. For me, it is. <laughs> for me, it's worth it. And of course, my camera, the gimbal had died a little bit earlier. So, so cool. Uh, the storm, unfortunately, we have a storm coming in, but that is, well, fortunately and unfortunately, that storm is what... Oh, I was like, what is it? I'll punch that. Is what, <laughs> is what brought the snake out finally. Uh, but uh, we do have to be kind of quick because we don't want to get our gear soaked. But it was worth it to hike up this gorgeous king. Uh, and that's one of the cool things about the cooler temperatures in Florida is you can start hiking up a lot of these snakes in the daytime. Uh, we caught a really beautiful Everglades the other day too. All right, let's get some footage of this beauty. Um, do you want to, do you want to hold it for me, Tay? Sure. I'll get some hand shots and then I'll get on the ground. Now, Toby, don't. Toby. He's being nice. He's being nice, Toby. This is hard to do with one hand. There we go. Oh, there you go. Yeah, we're both covered in mosquitoes. Gorgeous, gorgeous, Tay. Ew, why are you trying to sound like my mom? <laughs> Fantastic. All right, guys, this is what it's about. All right, Tay, what can we find that would be better for you? 
I think we're gonna try it. So tacos. Tacos. All right, guys. So if the rain subsides on us, we're gonna come back out here and hike around at night. It's posing so nicely. It is. Toby, you're a little scary. <laughs> Toby's like it's not a rattlesnake, so I could grab it. And they live in this really cool tropical stuff with Australian pines, sawgrass, and water. That's the mixture for, oh, there we go, look at that, for beautiful Brooks King snakes. And of course you can catch them in like pure natural habitat, but they love this disturbed habitat. All right. No, I want to get some on the ground, see if it'll hold still. Ooh, it's a rattlesnake. Thank goodness. King snakes are always going to try and bury. This king snake, uh, it is rattling because it's not a dangerous snake, but it's pretending to be dangerous. So they will shake their tail like a rattle, which is kind of funny that they know rattlesnakes are dangerous. Yet these snakes, why they're called king snakes is because they can catch and consume venomous snakes. And down here they would eat rattlesnakes, water moccasins, and little pygmy rattlesnakes. Ow! God! Bit me! <laughs> they don't normally bite, you little chomper. Look at that king snake bite. And good find, but so long, farewell. <laughs> I think I just... Ah, there we go. Good spot. So, this is a, probably this year's baby. Little Brooks King. Heck yes. Love king snakes. The baby might be worth the mosquitoes rep, but still probably not. While I was photographing the king snake, Taylor spotted another one uh, going into the bark of this Australian pine. Normally I wouldn't peel bark, but this is an invasive tree, so it's not that big of a deal. Cute. They start out this color, and with every shed, they'll look more and more Toby. like those uh, big yellow king snakes. Right, is this a king snake, or I'm happy to see you? <laughs> You're such a dork. One king snake, two king snake. Tobe, you want to say hi to king snake? You good? <laughs> that was good, Toby. Look how good you were. You know, Toby, I'm always, I'm always a little nervous because, you know, you're a hungry boy. Brooks King. King Belly. I'm just resting my hand there. Okay, we say bye, King Snake. <laughs> you're not gonna kiss him? The sun's already starting to set. Oh, okay. he's saying hi. Let's say bye, Snakeys. All right, Toby, you ready to go hike up? Uh, we're gonna go get some tacos and we're gonna hike down this area at night because it's, uh, it's absolutely beautiful. Uh, out in these areas. We'll be back, King Snake. Yeah, maybe we'll find the same we'll snake tonight. Maybe we'll find it again. Get over here. There was a dead bird in the water, now Taylor doesn't want to walk in the water. Oh, she's getting really cold. Drizzling. What? It's drizzling. Storm, why? Why are you coming at us like this storm? All right, let's go. What kind of absolutely terrible <laughs> outro thing was that? All right.